Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about a very cool mollusk, and not just a mollusk, a cephalopod known as the coconut octopus, or Amphioctopus marginatus. The coconut octopus gets its name from the fact that they use objects such as coconuts for protection against its predators, by hiding within the coconut. Clamshells are also a favorite among this group, however they have also been seen using glass bottles, plastic bottles, all kinds of different things that are also left behind by humans, unfortunately. The octopus grows to be about six inches long and has been seen by scientists carrying multiple half shells of coconuts at distances of almost 20 meters away to build shelters out of them. The octopus will also use the coconut as a disguise for when it is hunting. Once a prey such as a shrimp or a crab gets within range, the octopus will strike. If the octopus feels threatened and there is no sight of an object the octopus can hide itself with, then the octopus will resort to burying itself in the sand with only its two eyes exposed. These animals are at a severe risk from plastic pollution, however, as I previously mentioned before, they mistake objects like bottles for protective shelters. Whether or not this negatively affects the animals, it is unknown at the moment and there needs to be more research done. These octopus have been seen walking on two appendages in a type of bipedal motion similar to how we walk. There is only one other octopus species that has been known to be capable of this, making this species a very intriguing specimen. Like all cephalopods, these animals have very short lifespans and they die shortly after mating, which can produce up to 10,000 eggs every time that it occurs. Each egg is also only three millimeters long. Very, very, very small larvae are produced. The octopus has been known to collect shells and other objects by carrying them to their homes completely unprotected while doing so, which is fairly unusual, especially for an octopus because they are unprotected by a shell of their own. However, they are known to stick many shells or objects to themselves to kind of make themselves in like a ball position to hide themselves from predators. I hope you all enjoyed learning about the coconut octopus and if you would like to see more videos on cephalopods, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that post notifications button bell as well so you don't miss out on anything ocean related whenever I post. I do apologize for the lack of videos lately. I have been very busy, but I do plan on posting many, many more videos. So stay tuned, everybody, and thank you guys for watching.